Hello guys, this is your boy Ali Solanki and today in this video we'll be talking about the detailed cost analysis to make an entire NFT collection. Now this is the sixth episode in this series. Uh, we have completely uh, made the NFT collection right from start. So if you haven't checked out the first five videos in this series, then uh, do give it a watch. Now in this video, I'll be talking about the cost that I had to pay in order to create this entire project. Now I had created it on Polygon network, but I will also also be telling you how much it would have costed me if I would have deployed it on Ethereum network. So on Polygon it costed me almost nothing whereas on Ethereum it would have costed me uh, upwards of $3,100 which is close to let me see um, in rupees let's see in rupees it's close to 2.3 lakh rupees. So yeah, that's how much it would have costed me on Ethereum. Now let's uh, break down all of these uh, costs and let's see where we have to pay the most amount of fees and where does this 3100 go. So in the first video, the first video was about creating multiple NFTs. We were uh, creating it using the layers and uh, just generating our NFTs. So for that, we didn't have to pay anything. Uh, the code is available for free and I've kept it uh, open source. So you can download it and uh, you can just create it. So it costed us nothing. In the second video, there was the minting of ERC1155 NFT uh, token, which again would cost you nothing even if you deploy it on ethereum even if you deploy it on uh, polygon it would cost you nothing uh, because it is under open seas contract so that's why it would cost you nothing only when you try to sell it, it uh, you would have to pay gas fees that's it so in the third video we were hosting it on uh, ipfs we were hosting all of our nfts we were hosting the erc721 nft collection on ipfs if you're going with ERC1155 NFTs, then uh, you don't have to host anything. You can directly just go on OpenSea and uh, deploy your uh, NFTs. But if you're going with ERC721 NFT collection, then you have to host it somewhere. You'd be deploying your smart contract and in that smart contract, you have to mention uh, the IPFS uh, ID. So I'll just show it to you. Uh, just a second. So let me just open Remix and uh, let me show you the code for it so here as you can see if i compile it and um, let me just uh, compile this contract okay it's compiled and uh, if i just go over to deploy the stripes nft collection you would see there are three parameters that i have to put in the name symbol uh, for this you can just put in anything but there is this third uh, parameter which is in it uh, base uri which is the initial base uri in that you have to put in the ipfs um, uh, link for it so wherever you've deployed your nfts uh, you have to put that code over here so i've already covered this in the previous videos just go over and uh, check the video three uh, in this series so i've already covered all of these things uh, over here so here you can see using your id to view your hosted nfts now in the fourth video we were actually deploying our erc721 uh, nft collections uh, smart contract so on ethereum if you try to deploy a smart contract it would cost you around 0.66 ethereum which is uh, 3100 dollars and uh, this is the uh, gas fees for it so 0.66 ethers that you can see over here and uh, the polygon network would only cost you 0.2 matic which is only 0.34 dollars and that's why i have not even uh, added it over here so uh, that's the major chunk of uh, money that you'll be putting in after that you just have to buy the normal domain or you need to buy the crypto domain both of which won't uh, cost you a lot unless you're buying it on ethereum again uh, if you're buying your uh, crypto domain on ethereum you would have to pay five dollars for the domain 
and uh, $172 for gas fees. So more than how much the domain costs, you have to pay it in gas fees. So a total of $177, you can see it over here. By the way, all of this uh, document, all of this these resources are down in the description box below. So do check it out. And uh, we can see over here, people are actively uh, checking this document out. So do check it out as well. And uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I think you have gotten an idea about the cost analysis. Also, one more thing that I wanted to cover is if you are deploying it on Solana network, then also it would cost you almost nothing because Solana's gas fees is also quite low. So uh, this was it for this video. And uh, if you like this video, then do press the like button, do share it with your friends and subscribe to this channel. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video.